Okay, ran it. Okay, y'all, we are on the top of Red Mountain, Red Mountain, and now we are going down it, and I wanted to show y'all, ooh, did you see that old mine down there? You see it? Yeah. So there's a lot of gold mines out of here, and there's still snow up here. It's a little bit more chillier than, uh, uh, where we came from but uh so now we're getting going down the other side of red mountain and we'll be soon before long we'll be going into silverton which is really awesome but i wanted to show you all the mountains and the snow and it's it's just absolutely gorgeous up here and there's no rails yeah you're right brianna and it's kind of scary if you've never been on it before um, there are places literally, uh, you'll be going down and the road is gone. <laughs> so, uh, and you have to be very careful. There's a lot of fallen rocks and, uh, this is really cool. yeah, this is really cool. You guys, um, we just, the coloring, they call it red mountain because of all the iron in the mountains and stuff. But this was the original, um, what what'd you say it was called, Shannon? The, um, it was a transportation route to where they used to get all the iron ore and silver ore and yeah. gold ore. Yeah. They took it into Silverton to get smelted down. Yeah. And see, you, there's a lot of places we didn't get some of the footage that there was a really, really, uh, we had a lot of avalanches this year. And um, there are several places that we didn't get footage of it though, but I mean, just acres and acres of trees are gone from the snow, you know, the avalanches and stuff. And um, I didn't get to get it, so. Um, but anyway, we're, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. It is just absolutely phenomenal, it's beautiful. You know, I see God in everything. You know, look at the trees lumped over there. Looks like there was one here, kind of, sort of, huh? No, it's just a valley. There's a mine up there. Yeah, and there's just, there's all kinds of, it's just really cool. There's all kinds of things that we're gonna share with you guys today. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is Red Mountain, one of the most deadliest dangerous routes they say in America and yeah I can believe it <laughs> so it's called the million dollar highway because yeah million dollar highway because <laughs> back in the day they said you couldn't pay me a million dollars to go over that <laughs> yeah so even the river and stuff y'all uh, it's just yeah I hope y'all enjoy I, I like sharing things with y'all because I know uh, to me this you know little road trips like this are like yeah there's another mine you guys see and it, it's just really awesome wait till we go through this town you guys um, it's like ba going back into uh, Western day kind of sort of you know uh, uh, there's one place that we had stopped at at eight and they had a um, woman in there playing the piano back in the old saloon days, you know, and uh, it was really cool and she let me take a picture of her. We seen an antique bicycle, uh, the little two-wheel bicycle, remember that? Uh, just really kind of cool stuff, you know, and uh, there's no telling what we're liable to see. I still have yet not seen a moose yet. And I want to get a picture of a moose. And I haven't seen a bear yet here. But my son has. He saw a bear. And, uh, but anyway, there's no telling what you might see. We've seen eagles today. We saw an eagle. And uh, all that down, yeah, all that avalanche stuff. Yeah, 
must have been a big one up there, dude. That was a big one. Look at all that. Wow. All those trees down. See all the trees laying down? Yeah, from the avalanches and stuff. We had a lot of avalanches this year. A lot of rock slides and stuff. They redid this road, too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I know the reason why I share a lot of these videos is I know from personal experience living in Texas never really being able to go anywhere or see anything and you know yeah there's some places that are really cool in Texas but here I since I've been here almost five years now it's never ending of finding something just magnificent uh, finding things that or hidden. I like finding the hidden gems, you know, the hidden ghost towns in the fresh oil. Uh, but uh, it's really kind of amazing when you. And I, ooh, I'm gonna slow down because this guy here. He's oversized too. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just kind of really cool to stop and think that this was the actual trail that they rode horse and buggies on back in the gold rush days, you know? And so when I come up here, I kind of try to visualize, man, what was it like, you know, horse and buggy day going through this, you know? and how they made it through this train with horse and buggies and um, you know mapped out these trails and now there's a road that was a eagle's nest right there missed it but um, it's just there was never another avalanche there but anyway um, it's just absolutely beautiful and every season it's different you can come up here and it looks totally different in the fall uh, this is considered spring summer it's not quite summer yet so because I've been up here and it's hot I mean hot and we're closer to the Sun so you cook up here you know you uh, you better have some sunscreen on or you're gonna get fried um, but it's just absolutely breathtaking in certain spots so anyway uh, how far we got left to Silverton do you think we're almost there oh we're almost there okay so I just keep shooting but anyway uh, I just, am I going too fast? 